William Rags his name. And he's, he's run, well, I was going to say, over the last 50 days, he's run 50 marathons, but I think it's actually more than that, raising money for a, a wonderful, you know, an originally Brisbane-based charity called Young, uh, Young Care. Uh, William, good morning, mate. How are you? I'm terrific. Is that right? What did you end up running? You, know, you finished yesterday. Uh, yesterday was your 50th day you've been running. What did you end up, what did you do yesterday and what did you end up running overall? I actually only ended up running on 50. I wanted to do more and the reasons why I didn't was quite embarrassing. One of them, I'd agreed to take my wife to see Twilight. Oh. <laughs> you lazy bastard. Yeah. And the other reason was on Saturday I was supposed to do a triple marathon but yeah. um, I spent too long on YouTube after the first marathon <laughs> <laughs> just listening to some local music. So. so you ran 50 in 50 days? I ran 50 but yesterday was my fastest one. I felt a bit embarrassed. What did so you run went, yesterday? Uh, 320. Oh, get it. Out. Three did a three hour twenty marathon yesterday. Yeah. Right? 50th consecutive day of running marathon. For, for those that don't know, a marathon is forty two kilometers, right? Forty two point two Ks. Yeah. Now did you run the same marathon all fifty days or different courses? Pretty much the same, but just slight differences like once I hit the city, different loops and stuff like that. And it sounds really trivial, but like just this, a slightly different road or something. It was like lifted my spirits. Really? <laughs> you, you'd think that would be a bit weird, but yeah. it was what, actually yeah. awesome. What was the hardest marathon out of the 50? The first one, definitely. Really? Yeah. What definitely. was so difficult about that? The fact that you, you knew you had another 49 to go, was that a mental thing? It was a learning experience. After the first one, you realise, all right, the next marathon is all about thinking about the one after that. Yeah. You soon evolve and you quickly figure out the way of getting through it. And that's the main thing, is just thinking ahead and using your knowledge. It's nothing to do with physical attributes. So what did you do to get through it? Like, what was, what was your, did you have, what secret did you come up with? Um, I think being, um, I reckon, self-diagnosed as ADD was a big, a big <laughs> helping hand. Yeah. Um, I wake up every morning, I've got so much energy. Yeah. Um, I think that's a bit of a blessing. Um, but, the, but the main reason is about running style. Um, it's yeah, talk about, about that, I want to hear about that. Yeah, I... I it's not exactly, but I use main concepts um, as part of a thing called chi running. Chi running is based on old sort of techniques. But breathing, kind of, breathing techniques, chi, is that um, right? Chi, well, it's, it's similar to tai chi in the sense that tai oh, chi, energy. you use other yep. people's forces right. against them, but it's about using the forces of gravity and also friction using the ground. So if you've ever been on your toes and you lean forward to the point where you're just about to stumble, yep. mm. you're basically at that tipping point for the entire time. And then you combine that with... Well, so you lean forward when you run? Yeah, but only slight. So you shouldn't be, like, you know, trying yeah. to sniff the ground or anything. <laughs> but, but, you know, there is a slight lean. And what that brings is, like, um, a sort of... A, almost carries you forward naturally. Huh. So you can just relax your legs um, and you position your body in a certain way so your joint supported. So it reduces injury. And it also creates almost like an effortless type of running. It's really mm. interesting. I, yeah, I'm really... Yeah. I've been well, obviously it works. <laughs> yeah, I... If you ever wonder what I've been doing with my days, I'm generally in the house researching running styles. I'm huh. really interested in it. So. And do you run mornings or afternoons? A um, bit of both. I usually just run like to and from work, but then like create detours and stuff like that. Oh, for the marathons, I yeah, do Yeah, for the marathons, I mean. In the mornings, but there was a few days where I couldn't wake up and had to do them at night. And <laughs> no. then I'd have to... Slack. Do a quick turn around and get wow. in the morning. Phenomenal. Imagine wow. running a marathon at night and knowing in the morning you've got to wake up and do it all over right, again. Marathon. And then you raised money? If a young, young kid, yeah. Yeah, we haven't counted it all. We had a, an event yesterday. We did silent auctions, a raffle, had yep. some guest speakers who were incredible. But I think it's going to be close to the 10,000 region when we finish. How, how nice. do uh, people, because, uh, you know, for people that don't know young care, they do what uh, they're for high need uh, young people that are high need, yeah. need high need care, I guess, essentially. Mm. David Connery and the team do a, a wonderful effort yeah. with young care. And it was initially a Brisbane based charity. Uh, what's the way people can uh, can go to you know help your cause and help? Yeah, the, the best that? way is probably. I mean, I could give him a blog site, but it's quite long. Uh, but mm -hmm. the best thing is probably to go onto Young Care website. Okay, and you can find my link through there. Yep. And on my um, on my blog, there's a giving page. It's called an Everyday Hero page. You yeah, can okay. just go in there and online donation. And it is tremendous. I mean, Young Care are amazing because not just do they provide health speciality like facilities for young people to prevent them having to be in aged care. They also provide home grants so people can care for their loved ones at home and make sure that they continue to have, you know, an active yeah. life mentally yeah. and everything else. But they That's also great. provide great advice lines and do all sorts of other things to help all people who require that sort of care. So oh, that's an awesome effort, William. Well yeah, done. Mate. Congratulations. Over 2,000 Ks in 50 days. That's just incredible. Uh, no. What? Is that right? Yeah. More than that. Would be. It's yeah, over. Yeah. Four, yeah. Over. Yeah. The next one's going to be bigger, though. What? 
Yeah. Well, what are you doing? What's the next one? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what, what's the next thing? I'm going to break the world record to run across the states. That's the aim. Ah. Across the US? Yeah. What, so, like like California to New York type San of thing? San Francisco to New York, but I'm going to have to do three a day. Three a day? For yeah. how long? 37, I want to do it in. You're going to do three oh marathons a day for 37 days straight? I just want to prove that it's possible. I want to just <laughs> prove just how sturdy and how good, you know, good our bodies are of adapting to situations. I think the main thing is... Just throw yourself in summit and you figure it out physically. <laughs> <laughs> like, just throw yourself in it. It's what he's done, though. And you'll it's figure incredible. it out. Yeah. I didn't incredible. think about it. If you worry about stuff, you don't get things done. <laughs> just do it and think about it later. Wool rag. Well done. Thanks for joining us, Will. No, Cheers, thanks. man. It's been a nice. No.